Today is Opal's birthday. What a perfect day for me to come back onto my island. It's Opal's birthday, my most favorite villager in the entire world. Happy birthday, my queen. Yup. You know what's such a snake move on Miss Isabel's behalf? Because I saw the bulletin board. She is so shady. Excuse me, I have receipts. Because look at what the bulletin board over here says. It's Quinn's birthday and Opal's birthday. Why does she only wish a... <laughs> Why did she only wish Opal a happy birthday? What did Quinn do to you? You! What the fuck does Quinn have against you? <laughs> Isabel! Anyways, hi! Welcome back to Willow. As you can see, what are you doing? Leave her alone. Oh my god. By the way, here's proof right here that Teddy has officially moved on to Willow. Here he is wearing his pajamas outside. That's how you can confirm that this is the Fallbrook Teddy. Ignore this. Ignore this, okay? This was a video, but then the video got scrapped. The rest of the island looks exactly the same, only it's now winter. Great, shout out to Snow. I'm sick, first and foremost. You can hear it in my voice. I'm pretty sure y'all have heard it by now. I am sick, I am ill. It's not the C word, but still. You know, I just mainly wanted to play today because this is the first time I've had two separate villagers have a birthday on the same time, and I wanted to see what that's like. I don't know what I want to do today. Like, all I have in store is to just celebrate the girls' birthdays, and then I guess, like, we're just gonna try to play the game. That's, like, the best way to put... Why are you too happy? What did she say to you? Oh, she's not... He's not even gonna tell me because it's been so long. Biff... Ugh. I need to find birthday gifts for Quinn and Opal. I don't know what their favorite colors are. I guess Quinn likes purple, Opal likes green. Um, can I just take these? Like, honestly, I really just want to give this to Opal. Like, that's good enough for her. And then for Quinn, I think I'll actually put some effort into finding her a gift because I do like Quinn. So I think that's fair. This couch would work for Quinn, but I know it's expensive. 44,000. No, of course it is. Of course it's 44,000. I I am not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. She's getting a typewriter. I don't want to I don't want to <laughs> just no. No, thank you. You're getting a typewriter for your birthday. Come through, Quinn. I'm probably going to renovate your house anyways. Oh, and here they are, the girls. The girls. If it isn't this live and in person, this is going to be so much fun. The girls celebrating their birthdays together. You know what? You know what? They are actually serving right now. They're both matching with their black dresses. Quinn, Quinn, you're honestly a real one for doing charity work on your birthday. Celebrating with the less fortunate, trying to make her have a nice day. I respect that. I really do. Opal, you look good. That's all I have to say. Oh, hasn't this just been the most lovely party? No, I don't think I'll ever get tired of birthday cake and lovely selected gifts. Oh, there does seem to be a slight, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I got you something, Opal, don't worry. Which one was it? Oh, I got her pajamas for her birthday. You know what? Honestly, the older you get, you get excited for things like this. Like my mom got me pajamas for Christmas and like I fucking, I was actually living for them. I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> more clothes to wear in bed. I mean, like it's useful. I never leave the house anyways. More pajamas, the more the merrier. Did you know Opal and I have the same birthday? Pretty sweet, right? We're doing a double birthday. Double cakes, double party, double everything. Hell yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. I got you a birthday present too. Wow, you got me a typewriter? That's wicked generous. Honestly, a typewriter? It's actually a really cool thing to get. Quinn, you better be grateful. You better be grateful that I got you a typewriter. You know how much they cost in real life? Look at these two just serving. They are honestly serving. I will give them that. Anyways, happy birthday to these queens. Bye. I have beef with Isabel. How dare Isabel? Isabel forgetting about Quinn. Interesting. In the morning announcements, like she aired it out to everybody that it's Opal's birthday today. When we all know that it's also Quinn's birthday today too. And she didn't bother to say that. Like there, there is something shady going on there and I do not like it. Why are you eyeing him now? Pate. Girl, I know you two are close and y'all are like doing whatever y'all are doing. Did I share that? I feel like I shared it. I'm gonna share it again. Look at this duo right here. Like they've been besties since November. And like, look at them still together being friends. Biff, Pate. Honestly, these two are such an interesting duo that it does kind of work. I can see it kind of working. 
You, on the other hand, hi. <laughs> this is weird. I have to restart my entire friendship with him because I moved him from Ballbrook. He has no idea who this version is. Also, it's funny how we're like low-key twinning right now with the green. See how it always just works out? If you get stumped with the question, resident services is the place. Yeah, we know that, Teddy. I asked Isabel if we could get it. Oh my God, this is literally like day one conversation. It is so weird for Teddy to be saying that to me. Stop. Where's my boy? Oh my God. Oh my God. Cooking in a detective's coat. Ooh. Ooh, look at the stance. Look at the position. Look at the looks. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, oh my God, it's been so long. It's you with the shirt. What was the name again? Fuck you. Fuck you. I know it's been a while. You don't need to be, sh you don't need to be rude about it. Fang, I have a life. I have dual citizenship. I live on another island. Sorry that I can't make time for you. Oh, what is he making? I forgot they actually tell you what they're making. Um, fruit salad. How fitting. He is definitely trying to impress me with that because he knows. He knows my thoughts about the Wiggles. Like he wants he wants this to be a conversation starter so that we can get into like my obsession with them. Have you eaten your recommended daily dose of veggies? Oh no, he's just trying to be my dad. He the fruit salad, giving me a recipe for fruits and now talking about veggies. I am not a big fan of vegetables, <laughs> just so we're clear, aside from like broccoli, but I'm just gonna say yes I have so he doesn't like think less of me. Oh yeah, that's not the answer I was expecting. Are you trying to tell me something? See, I'm not a huge fan of, ah oh, shit, I answered wrong. I should have said no, cause then he would have been like, oh my God, we both hate vegetables. I could have been friends with him. I mean, we're already friends, but like, ugh. I have noticed something though on this island. Um, I've had this island since what, July, August? But honestly, I don't think I've been to Harv Island, like the shopping district. You know what? Like while we're here, we might as well just go see if there's anything worth doing over there. I have enough bells. So if anything, I could probably start giving bells off to Harv so we can open up the sharp shop. Sure. Huh? Harv's Island. Oh, wait, I've never been to Harv's Island. Oh, that's embarrassing. That man came back in August. Like five months ago and was like swing on by and I was like, hell yeah, I'll go right now. The five months later, I finally show up. Oh my God. Wait, so, ooh, look at this. <laughs> it's the, it's the Harv's Island before the shopping district. Wait, this is cute. Oh, look, it's the clothes pin and the sandals. Remember when people hacked the game so that we could actually get this item and then Nintendo got mad? and took it away from us for no fucking reason. They could have just gave it to us afterwards. Like, at least we got the fencing. But like, dog, this shit right here, this is what we could have had in the game as well. And this item over here, and this version of the brick oven, like, Nintendo, it's not hard to listen to your fan base, you know? Oh God, now I have to talk to him and he's gonna be like, hey, it's you, you finally came, you dumbass. I told you to come five months ago. Anyways, let's take photos, yeah. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I will say though one thing, like Harv's Island missed opportunity, just like 90% of this game. But like with Harv's Island, I remember thinking, and like this was my theory when they announced it. I thought that you were going to be able to upgrade the shops because they start off as trailers. And I was like, oh, you know, the more you spend, they're going to upgrade the shops into like two or three levels and like offer more things and stuff. And then it was going to turn into like Main Street in New Leaf, like a full fledged shopping district. No, that never happened. And are we surprised? No. I mean, Nook's Cranny never even got an upgrade. So like bold of me to assume that Nintendo would do something like that. It does have me thinking about the next game though. I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley lately. I love Stardew Valley. I finally understand the hype and that's all I've been playing. Um, Stardew Valley video coming soon, don't worry. I plan on starting another farm, doing a whole little thing with that. So if you're excited, keep being excited until it happens. Um, and like one thing from Stardew Valley that I really loved is the community center and like building that up and basically doing the whole thing, which like the community center is a community center where people go as a community to do things like a YMCA, but it's like all abandoned and broken down. And it's like up to you, the newest resident to like 
bring it back to life with the help of like those magical green peas. I'm gonna leave that in out of context. If you know, you know. Basically the way to bring it back to life and like revive it is to like bring a bunch of forageable items from all over town, whether it's like wood, certain crops, random minerals that you find in the cave. And I just feel like they could bring that to Animal Crossing. And not necessarily for like nooks, crannies and stuff like that, but more for like optional building. Think like Happy Home Paradise, where you have the school, the cafe, and like all those, like the restaurant and stuff. Imagine if in the next game, those things were a part of your actual town. Go back to New Leaf, where like you move into an already established town or bring back like Main Street and have all the buildings be abandoned and closed and stuff like that. But instead of like just spending a lot of money and having a lot of play time in order to unlock everything, actually like let us do things to unlock all the buildings. Like imagine if in order to unlock like the roost, you had to bring certain furnitures, like certain furniture items or like certain craftable items. Like you need like a coffee counter, you need like some kind of food, like crops, like sugarcane. Oh, sugarcane, sugarcane right there. Like you have to harvest a hundred sugar sugarcane, bring them to the roost and then find a way to craft like certain tables and stuff and like actually bring items that then help what's his name help <laughs> don't record videos while you're sick help brewster build the cafe like actually build the cafe instead of just giving like wood and shit and like simple things because we already have that in this game like nooks crannies that's how you unlock nooks crannies you give a bunch of wood and iron nuggets but like expand on that, make it more exciting, make it more interesting. Cause I feel like for the next game, it would be really cool to do like the whole uninhabited island thing and building it up from the ground up again. But I, I honestly prefer like having it be a rundown abandoned town, similar to how it was in New Leaf, but like really drive that point home. You know, the shops are just completely abandoned. Like the store owners just dipped because they're like, this town just sucks. I'm gone, like Brewster. And then you have to actually go and look for them while you're out on Mystery Islands. And then you meet up with them and they're like, hey, maybe I'll come back if I have enough resources. Can you help me with that? And then you help them find their resources. You bring them to the store. They come by to the store and they're like, oh my God, yay, I'll come back. And that's how you unlock the roost. I don't know, just more like characterization, I think, is what would be nice in general. Does that make sense? I wanted to build, but I think the issue is that like, I just do not have a single idea what I want to build. Like here's my island as is. This is like the little town hall area I have. Cute, fun. I kind of want to continue the path out this way. I guess we could try something out. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try and plan out the island. We're not going to do much because A, I'm sick. Let me make that my personality trait real quick. I'm sick. So I'm not in the mood to actually design, but like, I kind of want to just take the path and just kind of go down. So I guess like we could do that. I'm already doing it. So might as well keep it going. Okay. I'll leave the path till there so I can like figure out the rest. Um, I want to have a cliff, like just a little cliff section here too. I don't know why. I just kind of want to have like a line of trees. No, that's not the spot. Kind of have like a line of trees along here, similar to like what I usually do. Just like a bunch of trees. What? What do you want? It's been a while. Yeah, blah, 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 girl, we know. Are you building cliffs, Vis? Thank you. You literally just saw me build a cliff. Thank you for the clarification. I could stage a concert on the edge of a cliff. Oh, cool. And then you could, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's gonna be like, and then afterwards you could jump off. And that's literally what she said. I was like, <laughs> I was going to say it, but then I was like, no, that's too, that's too mean. But she said it. She said it. If she said it, I could say it too. And yeah, what with wearing a wingsuit and like fly, you know, don't fall off the cliff and like twist your ankle or whatever. My glasses are on because I have a migraine. Let's just like do this. Can you move? Like go over there. Thank you. Here's what I'll do. I'll like show off the vibe of what I'm trying to do here. Like, I think what would be really cool is keep this area open right here. So it's like cute little path. Ooh, actually, where the hell is my storage? Why is it not in my pockets? Is it in my pockets? No. Did I just forget my storage somewhere? How did I lose an entire storage cabinet? Bang, I'm stealing your thing. Sorry. 
<laughs> I stole his whole storage cabinet without his permission. That's so rude of me. I'm gonna create like a little area. Let me just be clear. All right, let me grab fences real quick. I'll grab another storage cabinet so I don't use fangs. I think we all know what the plan is. Vending machines, duh. Is anybody surprised? One thing about me, I love using vending machines. I love using drink machines. Oh my God, I'm designing by the way. Look at me, designing an Animal Crossing after so long. Who could have seen that coming? And then I think I'll grab a bench instead, just so that, you know, it's not just a bunch of vending machines in here. Cute, is that cute? Or is that like, Maybe a leaf pile to like kind of bring it all together. I'm not keeping this island in winter, by the way, because I am anti-snow. I'm allowed to be anti-snow because I'm Canadian. I was originally planning on keeping the island in like fall, but honestly, like I kind of want to keep it in spring or summer instead, just because like, I feel like I always, well, that's not true. People are like, you always do autumn themed islands. No, I don't by the way. Only Fallbrook is set in fall. And I literally did that because y'all bullied me because I asked you guys. I was like, cause originally I was planning on doing it in the summer, but then I was like, let's see what everyone thinks. Should I keep it in the summer? Or should I keep it in the fall? And people were like, um, it's called Fallbrook put it in fall. Y'all do not know the angry coconut lore. And that made me very upset because I originally called it Fallbrook, not because I wanted it to be set in fall but I named it after the hiking trail that I go to in the summer. So that's why I was like, maybe it could be cute to keep it in the summer because it's like a summer themed island. But then everybody was like, no, it's supposed to be in the fall. But it's like, no, it's not. But I listened to y'all anyways. So now Fallbrook is set in the fall time. Actually not anymore. It's actually set in the summertime now. If you go to the dream address, I forgot I updated it recently, but still like for the longest time it was in the autumn when it wasn't supposed to be. Why is Biff throwing ass in the background? Don't you just love it? I know they're sniffing, but the way they have them sniffing in the background, it really just makes it look like they're throwing ass. Okay, this is cute, but now that I'm looking at it, like the bench is being completely covered. So I'm gonna get something else back there instead. Um, I'm thinking another vending machine because I'm unoriginal. Okay, so that's the idea so far. We have this cute little area here, and then we got these trees. And then what I'm going to do is something that I had already done in the other area with these hedges. I have so many hedges, thank God. Oh my God, by the way, now is a great time to flex. Um, To everybody who's doing hard mode, are y'all mad? Are y'all jealous that I'm just designing and playing the game at ease with like no trouble right now? I'm not doing hard mode. Um, I don't have anything against it. It's just a lot of those rules I've looked at them and I'm just like, you're just playing the game. For someone like me, for everybody who's been asking like if they wanna see me or that they wanna see me do hard mode, I'm already doing it, kind of. I mean, yeah, I use treasure islands, but I wasn't using treasure islands for the longest time, honestly. So like, I think I'm allowed to use them now. And like, I don't know, the whole thing looks cool. It's just not for me. Like, that's just what it is. I, I wanna use custom designs. Look, look at these custom designs that I'm able to use because I'm not doing hard mode. I should be allowed. But I will say though, like if you are somebody who wants to do hard mode, but you don't actually wanna do hard mode, but like it does interest you, but you're not in the mood to play Animal Crossing, check out Stardew Valley. Like this is my way of telling y'all to play Stardew Valley because it, 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 a lot of those rules really do give off Stardew Valley vibes. I feel like if you're somebody who's into the whole grinding aspect of like life sim games, Stardew Valley is definitely something that you should be checking out, which is surprising that I'm actually recommending that game because for the longest time I was like, I just don't get the game. I don't get why people like it so much. It's one of those games where it's like, you really have to figure everything out by yourself. Kind of like real life, you know? Because with Animal Crossing, like this game is very tutorial based. Every time you talk to somebody, they're giving you a tutorial. They're like, hey, this is how you do this. This is how you do that. In Stardew Valley, you go into the game and then they're just like, all right, bye, <laughs> do your own thing. And I think that's why a lot of people are so put off by it right away. Can you stay the fuck away from us? What? 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 Why are you pushing me? Miss Shino is trying to fight me. Did you see that? Teddy, he's just gonna sit there and watch. Yeah, like Stardew Valley is really like one of those games that you kind of just have to figure it out by yourself. And once it clicks, it clicks. Like when you get your regime in, you figure out like what you need to be doing. Like right now I'm kind of just like going to the mines every day, 
trying to get to the bottom, harvesting my crops, getting shit done. I have animals now, like that's the biggest flex. I actually have animals in the game and it's so cool. I have a fucking cow. Amazing, amazing. The game is fun, but it, it takes time to like understand it. I would say like watch Let's Plays. You know what, even better, like take those hard mode rules from Animal Crossing and just apply them to Stardew Valley. And like, you could probably get a lot of shit done in that game too, just based off of Animal Crossing hard mode. This is kind of what I've done. Does this make sense? <laughs> I don't know. Like it's, it's, it's yay. I'm going to stop doing this. Ooh, ooh. Now Teddy and Pate are talking and we'll actually see what they're going to talk about. Hi. No, you're, why? I, is it because I haven't talked to her? Is that why Pate's giving me the silent treatment so she's just walking away as soon as I walk by? Oh my god, that is so rude. Damn it, Pate, you can't do anything right. Quick life update, I threw up and went to bed. And now it's the next day and I'm back, but I have some bad news. Who's surprised, really? I just started doing things off camera. I literally did this right now, like right now. And then I realized, oh wait, I'm supposed to record this. Well, too late, but um, Here's what I have so far. I just created like a little neighborhood thingy and I plan on continuing it back and then having two more houses in the back. We can use our imaginations to figure that out. Let's just decorate. You know, I did all the hard stuff off camera. You know, the parts that would require me to like actually focus and not talk. So now that that's out of the way, we can talk and do things together like a community. How fun. Yeah, I'm already going because right away I have an idea. I have a good idea in my head. I want to create like a little storage shed thingy like I've done before and now I'm doing it again. Again, I really want to go for that rundown abandoned vibe. This should not shock anybody. This is basically my aesthetic at this point. And then I think I want to put a bench. I should have one in my pockets. Cute, cute. What? Oh my God, this outfit. <laughs> Her birthday was yesterday, so like, I should be nice and just let her go. So I'm gonna try to do that, be the mature one in this in this situation. Yeah, I created like this little path thingy right over here using custom codes because I'm not playing hard mode so I can do what I want. Everybody who is playing hard mode, does this make you mad? Look at all these custom codes. They're all from Orgo Ali. They're in the description. I'm using them, I don't care. I think I'm just gonna do what I usually do and take these hedges and kind of line them up just to create cute little thing. Like I know right away, I wanna put some here, just like right behind the thing, cute. And then maybe one over here and then I'll get something for in there. And then on this side, kind of alternate it. I have a stone thing. I think I wanna put that right here. And then maybe, maybe this fence and put those here. That's good enough. I might change it out. I want to put one more here, but then grab another fence, you know, once again for like variety. This is the exact same thing I do every single time. I'm going to keep doing it because I'm just doing me. Okay. People are always like, you do the exact same theme over and over again. Okay. And that's my theme. Exactly. <laughs> It's my style. It's what I enjoy doing. I'm gonna keep doing it if it makes me happy. It's as simple as that. I think for some sass, I'm gonna have this fence go all the way till up here. And then immediately I know what I wanna do. I wanna grab some bushes and kind of create like a fake fence using the bushes just to kind of have like a nature element for some fun pizzazz, you know? I'll just steal these ones right here. We'll take this one and this one. And then we'll take two more that are a different kind of bush just for some variety. Like maybe these. I have like a bunch of holly bushes over here. I'll take these. And then we got to figure out the biggest part. Who am I going to move there? I don't want to renovate anybody's houses. So I feel like I'm going to be stuck with the houses they currently have. Um, so I got to go around and like find two houses that like not only match the vibe, but also match each other. I mean, I feel like the most obvious option would be to put... Pate and Pietro up here because they have the same house. You know, they both have like those blue exteriors, but I don't want to put them up here. I don't think Pietro and Pate, well, maybe they could be good neighbors, but I don't think they would, I don't think they work here. I just feel like they'd constantly be fighting each other if they were actually neighbors. In terms of decorations, I want to keep it simple because there's not a lot of space to work with. So let's just see 
what there is. And now it's time for the video or for the part of the video where I talk about Drag Race because Drag Race has happened. Oh my God, like we're like what? Three episodes in, four episodes in? Is it episode four? Snatch Game, that was last night. Um, Just wow, you know? <laughs> Wow, what a season so far. Um, but did I or did I not call it? I said that either Lucy or Mistress were gonna win. And they were both in the top for Snatch Game. That's my big brain right there. And I also called Sugar and Spice Lip Sync alongside everybody else. So that's not actually something worth flexing about. But it still happened, okay? It did happen. The only issue that I have with the season is that, oh my God, it is flying by so quickly. And it's all Todrick Hall's fault. Like, here's the thing, I don't mind 40 minute episodes with TV shows because yeah, you could argue that like older seasons were like that, but it was a good thing that we went from 40 minute episodes to an hour. Like people are like, oh, Drag Race used to be an hour back in the old days. You know, older seasons weren't that long. Yeah, but weren't we happy when the seasons got long or when the episodes got longer? Nobody was complaining. We were like, yay, that's a good thing because now we get more times with the queens. And now they went back and people are realizing how short 40 minutes actually is. I think the only problem with it is that there are just too many queens to justify a 40 minute season. Because like, if it was a 14, you know, like 14, 12 queens, it wouldn't be that bad. But as of right now, there's too many queens and it's like, where the hell is Anitra? That's really my biggest complaint right now. Where the hell is Anitra? She literally won episode one and hasn't been back. And it's worrying me. This poor queen has like no screen time. It really does worry me because it's like, why does she have no screen time? Does that mean something bad? Should we be worried? Because I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to Anitra. I'm still rooting for her. Recently, the sugar and spice lip sync. I don't care what anybody says. That shit was camp, okay? That was camp. That was so camp. The fact that they knew, as soon as the two of them ended up in the bottom three, they knew that they were gonna have to lip sync against each other because of course they were. Of course they were. Why was everybody surprised that Aura was safe? Sugar and Spice were in the bottom three. Of course they were gonna lip sync together. And people were saying like, oh, Aura should have been in the bottom. Aura should have been in the bottom. Girl, if Aura was in the bottom instead of one of the twins, you know the twins would have still went home because I'm pretty sure Aura would have done a better job at the lip sync. I did say though that like, usually when reality shows have like siblings compete together, uh, they always go for one goes home early and then the other one shines and goes far. So that's exactly the storyline that I think they're going to be doing. I feel like Spice might actually end up in the final four. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me if Spice was top four, especially because the two of them have kind of just been there. I feel like that's why they were all right with letting one of them go, you know? There wasn't really much of a storyline. Oh my God, why are you shoving her out of the way like that? Yeah, because like Sugar and Spice, like the first episode, yeah, everybody was annoyed by them, but then everybody realized, no, they're actually cool. So because of that, I feel like production realized, oh, they're not gonna cause any drama anymore. So we might as well just get rid of one of them as of now. And that's exactly what they did. So I do feel like Spice is going to go far. I hope she wins the challenge. I really do. I don't think Spice is gonna win. But I just want her to make it till the end. Just just for funsies, honestly, just for funsies. I'm sure Spice can actually pull through and do well. And I'm hoping that she does. Anyways, my pick for the crown is still Sasha Colby. I think Sasha is winning, no doubt. <laughs> and I'm happy, I, like, I don't even care. I'll be happy if she does because Sasha Colby is Sasha Colby. There is more than enough room for that plant here. Don't lie to me. I did this. This is cute. I'm a fan of it. Um. Should I move houses now or should I just like do that on my own time? You know, I kind of want to move it now. Let's figure out. Let's like go around town and like see what houses work here. There's a lot of browns and greens and a few blues and yellows, which is basically my color scheme. You can literally see that brown, green, <laughs> yellow and blue in the back. Okay. So like we need two houses that match. Like again, here's Pate and Pietro's houses. It would work. I mean, it would work. Should I just move them there? We'll, we'll keep that in the back burner. This is Raymond's house. Raymond has a nice house. That's pretty cute. And I feel like him and Opal could work. 
Because Raymond and Opal both have like black, white, and green. Ooh, I, I feel like Pate and Pietro might work. I talked myself into it. I'm gonna put Pate and Pietro here. Do I have enough bells? Oh my God, the entire gang is just here. Here having a concert without me. Where was my invite? Y'all are just hanging out together, Teddy. Like you didn't even bother to tell me. Y'all suck. And y'all invited Biff over me too. That's what's especially mean. And to nobody's surprise, I'm taking a stone staircase as well because they are the only good looking ramps in the game aside from the natural ones. I just don't vibe with any of the other ones. I used to use the brick ones constantly though. Like when the game first came out, I was putting the brick ones everywhere. But nowadays I'm just like, it's, it's only the stone ones that I just really like. You know? And it's like, yeah, I could branch out and try new things, but like, no, I don't want to do that. That's not pretty. When we think Pietro, do we think Pietro on the left side or Pietro on the right side? Pietro gives me left vibes, so I'm going to put him over here. I hate that it gets rid of the, the path too. Why does the path have to go in order to put a house there? I think that's so rude. There's literally no point. The sign can go on top of the path, no problem. Like, I don't get the point of getting rid of the path. That's something that's always bothered me because like when the villager moves out, the path is still there. But like when you're moving the house itself, why does that get rid of the path? I will never get it. I will never understand. And look, because I'm not playing hard, I'm just gonna constantly flex that I'm not playing hard mode. Look how easy it is for me. Like I place an incline down and I can just time travel to the next day. And like, bam, the incline will be there. Oh my God. Patience is for losers. 2023, don't be, don't be patient. Impatience is the way to go. You want things, get it done. Get it done as soon as you can. Oh my God, my dad told me this recently. He's like, you spend like 17 hours or something, like some big hours of your entire life just waiting for things to happen. Don't, <laughs> just don't wait anymore. You're gonna have to wait for doctor's appointments. You're gonna have to wait to get to the bus. You're gonna have to wait for everything. Why should you wait for Animal Crossing? I think that's unfair. Play the game how you want. I haven't checked my mail on this island in a very long time. Oh my god. Oh my god. The girls are sending gifts. I love that. It's just Happy Home Academy, the bank of Nook, and my mother. And the girls over here. What does Shino want? I believe it's super important to be adventurous in fashion. So I got you this piece because it looks like something you'd never wear. Since I can't see your reaction in person, I assume you'll just love it. And then Quinn and Opal are probably like, yay, happy birthday to me. Shino, what is something you think I would look good in? Knit cap with ear flaps. Oh, that's cute. Oh, okay. I actually do like that hat. Maybe Shino does have good taste. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? I can't put any items over here. Why didn't y'all tell me? That was so rude. Y'all should have told me that as soon as I put them down. But instead, y'all just wanted to embarrass me by not saying anything. You know what, I'll put them over here instead. All of Pate's items are now being donated to Pietro's yard because it's what he deserves. Anyways, bam, wow, look at that. Everything's done and dandy. Here's. The houses. Oh, Pietro. Oh my God, he was sleeping and now he just like got up and started singing. He wakes up and then immediately breaks out into song. That's so Leah Michelle coded of him. It's that time of the day when I really want a snack, but I don't want to ruin my appetite either. You're dressed as a sushi costume, so I'm sure that's not helping you. <laughs> now what do I do? I'm done building and I don't want to keep building because building is like too much work. You know, I'm trying to just take things one day at a time. I could keep going, but that's going to be boring. You know what? I'll try to kick a villager out. Um, and if you're seeing this part of the video, that means I was successful. And um, stay tuned because we might be going on a villager hunt. Uh, let's just time travel to like February 1st. Why don't we? And see what happens. Ooh, no, even more fun. Let's get messy. Cause I wanna see what this island looks like in the springtime anyways. Cause like I said, I'm probably gonna keep it in the springtime. Let's just go to April Fools. Um, it's not a holiday in this game, sadly, because Blanca's dead. Let's just see. April Fools. Oh shit, Zipper T Bunny. Oh fuck, I forgot about him. Oh god, when is Easter this year? And I'm still wearing a wintertime outfit. I'm gonna ignore everybody. Don't look at me. Pretend y'all don't see me. Um, it hasn't been two months since we last talked. Ooh, this area in the springtime looks cute. So much more vibrant. That's fun. What about like the rest of the island? Ooh, ooh, the roads really work with this area. Oh, I'm definitely keeping this island in the springtime, just so we're clear. Yeah, and I've seen how this looked because this is literally 
a carbon copy of my other island, <laughs> which was in the springtime. Does nobody have a thought bubble over their heads? Are you kidding me? Do y'all love living here that badly? Nobody wants to move out. I'm willing to kick off any of these villagers because I have their, I have every single one of their amiibos except for Teddy and Pietro. As long as they don't want to move out, I'm fine with letting anybody go. Heck, I'll even kick out Biscuit or Fang and then just bring them back and kick out another villager. Two hits with one stone, you know? Nobody wants to move out. Are you kidding me? How the hell? Three months I go by without talking to any of y'all and y'all don't think you want to leave? Nobody on the beach? Raymond? Like Raymond still wants to live here too? Y'all suck. <laughs> what is this? This is so rude. Opal's at home. She's not thinking. Biscuit? Quinn? Nobody wants to leave. Do I have to keep going? Because at this point I really want to... Like, now that I've committed, should I just keep going? What if I just kept going? Um, let's time travel to the 15th. No, let's time travel after that because I don't know when Easter is. Let's go to, like, the 28th. Um, uh, <laughs> I just want to avoid Zipper Tea Bunny if it's not obvious. Why does nobody have a thought bubble on this island? What the hell? Do y'all love me that badly? Like, you just don't want- you just don't want to leave me? Is it that serious? Nobody's thinking? Nobody wants to move out? Shino is home right now. What is going on? Why does nobody want to leave this island? It's not all that. It's not worth living here. There are so many nicer islands to live on. Where is your thought bubble? Why don't you want to leave? Raymond, do you want to leave? Is he thinking? Oh, he's thinking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Question for you, Vis. What lies be- Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm about to do something that nobody in this universe has ever done. I am going to kick out Raymond. I'm kicking him out. Bye. That's the end of the romance between the two of us that never existed. My boyfriend's on this island now. I don't need you here. Plus, I have his amiibo, so if anything, I could always just bring him back. You know what? If I get a flop on this villager, in this villager hunt, if I find a flop, I'll just bring Raymond back. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take inspiration from Animal Crossing hard mode for this villager hunt. Let's just keep it quick and simple. So one of the things is when you go on a villager hunt, you know, you can only have 10 tickets. And if you don't like anyone you find, you gotta autofill. So I feel like that could be fun to do. Wait, there's a campsite villager? What? <laughs> why? Again, why do I always get a campsite villager when one of my villagers wanna move out? I'm just time traveling here because apparently now you have to play the day before your villager leaves in order for them to actually leave. And my phone is ringing. Why is my phone ringing? Hello, Vis. This is Tom Nook in the spirit. Oh, Mayday. <laughs> okay. Ooh, no, Mayday. Wait, can I do Mayday now? What's Mayday gonna be? Oh my god, Mayday. I forgot about Mayday. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that today as well and see what that's like. Wait, there's no point. Bitch, it's January. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Let's wait until May actually comes around and then we'll do it. Anyways, bye. Hey, Vis, I'm glad you stopped by. I wanted to say thanks for helping me make the decision to move from Willow. It wasn't easy, but I think blah, blah, blah. Bye. Like, okay, you weren't supposed to be here for long anyways, so, like, I genuinely do not care that you're going. He is just a villager. Y'all, don't get mad at me for this. I'm doing something that you could never. Let's just say that. I'm kicking out Raymond, and I'm not gifting him to anybody to make you mad. Does this make you mad? He's going into the void. This game is three years old, man. If you don't have Raymond at this point, that's your fault. <gasps> Chevre. Chevre. I don't know how to say her name. I think it's chevre, but like I learned the French way, which is just chevre. I think that's how they say it in French. Either that's how they say it in French or my French teacher lied to me. Chevre. Is that right? French people, comment down below. Correct me. Y'all are going to correct me anyways, so you might as well. Oh, this is the first villager hunt of the new year. I just took that in. That's fun. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, I literally just did a villager hunt like two weeks ago or three weeks. I have no concept of time, but um, here we go. First one of the year, I kicked out a juicy villager. Who's going to be replacing him? We'll find out. Um, Should I do 10 tickets? This is going to be weird. This is going to be a surprise for everybody because like, usually when I do a villager hunt, I make it known in the title that I'm going to do a villager hunt, but I don't think I'm going to do that this time around. Um, Don't spoil that this is a villager hunting video in the comments, please. Y'all love listening to me when I say this. Pretend that this isn't a villager hunt. Don't be like, oh my God, I can't believe you kicked out Raymond. Say something else. Be like, oh my God, I can't believe Teddy would say that to you. I can't believe Teddy would cheat on you with Raymond. Here we go again. This getting mad at another villager. Is he going to end up back with Wolfgang? Blah, blah, blah. Girl, 
what do you want? You and I need to have a talk about your ugly ass outfit. Yeah, we definitely need to have a talk. You heard me talking shit about this outfit three months ago. And now you're out here wearing it again in public in front of everybody. You are brave, Opal. You are brave. You ate my sponge cake and now you're throwing out accusations and lying in public. In public. You. Teehee, just kidding. Shut the fuck up. You are so fucking funny. Oh, I was simply demonstrating the intense reaction. Intense where? The only intense you're giving off is intensely ugly with that shit you're wearing. Opal, you are so fucking brave. You are so fucking brave and you are so lucky I didn't kick you out. Fang, can you believe that? Can you believe that? Can you believe what I have to put up with? I'm so sorry, y'all are neighbors. And we're starting off with a big, with a big bang. Oh my God, Miss Audie. Damn, I did not expect that. Okay, listen, like I said, two years ago at this point, well, not two years ago in real life, but two years ago in game, because pl I'm playing in April right now. You know, I went on like, a long ass villager hunt searching for her and she never bothered to show up. And now this is like the 20th time I found her in a villager hunt. Like it's a little too late for that, girl. You really tried it. Who is that? Oh, oh God. Okay, no, no thank you. That's two for two though, villagers who amiibos I have. Um, interesting. <laughs> I, I've noticed that though. I'm genuinely curious. I bring this up every time, but like for people who have amiibos, when you scan them in and then you go on a villager hunt afterwards, do you notice that they show up more often? Like, I feel like every single time I villager hunt now, ever since I started collecting amiibo, I've only been finding villagers whose amiibos I've scanned into the game. It's weird. It's so weird. And this is like across both switches. Cause like last time I went on a villager hunt was on Fallbroke on my other switch. And I was finding people's amiibos, like villagers that I have amiibo of. So it's weird. Like, is that something that actually happens? Data miners, I'm specifically asking you, is there any way you can figure that shit out? Cause this is weird. I see Audie so often ever since I got her amiibo. And like now I found Marlo. I'm pretty sure I have Marlo's amiibo. Okay, Biddy. Oh, broke the streak already, so that's fun. I don't want Biddy. I'm trying to figure out how many tickets I want to do today. Um, like I've done three. Should I just do 10? How many do I have in my pocket? Oh, 20. Okay, yeah, we'll do 20. I think 20 is fair because 10 is too short. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, we got a banger on ticket number four. Francine, that's a fun one. That's a pop girly. I am on the same island as a celebrity. Oh my God, when worlds come live. And Matt, oh my God, I was just speaking about Audie and Jerry. Maddie, Maddie, R.A.P. Maddie, I had her on blue. Francine, what are you doing here? When's your next album coming? Where'd she go? Hello? Oh my God, she disappeared. She disappeared. She probably thought I was the paparazzi and she was like, nope, I'm out. I don't blame her. Um... <laughs> oh my God, it's Clyde. Clyde's cool. I like Clyde. I'm not taking him. God, and like, what else is going on? I don't even know. Oh my God, The Last of Us. <gasps> oh, oh, I just remembered The Last of Us. Yo, that's my personality trait for the month. How the hell did they actually manage to have a good first episode? I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised they actually managed to do it. Can I just say Pedro Pascal, if you're watching this, God, this is the one time I actually hope somebody I like is watching this. Like, I fucking love you so much. Oh my God. Hey, you used to live on one of my islands. Bye. Pedro Pascal is Joel. He is a really good Joel. The casting in general, I am so obsessed with. Like they did a really good job. The guy who plays Tommy, I don't remember his name. I'm so sorry, but that's literally Tommy. That's literally Tommy as a human being. He sounds exactly like him. It's so wild. Bella Ramsey. Bella Ramsey as Ellie. It works. It works. It's such a good casting. She's doing a really good job. Like, I'm so excited for the show. I've played the game so many times. I've seen Let's Plays so many times. I know the story so well. So I know what's going to happen but I'm still ready to tune in because apparently they are adding things to the thing. Like, first of all, Left Behind. Left Behind is going to be a part of the show. They already mentioned Riley in the first episode. So it's like, they're actually hopefully gonna do a good job of like tying in the two stories this time. And apparently, Ashley Johnson, that's her name, right? The girl who played Ellie in the video games, like the voice actress. Apparently she has a role 
in The Last of Us where she plays a woman who gives birth. I don't remember what the character's name is, but the character's name is the same name as Ellie's mom in the video game. So it's quite possible. Oh my God, a barb. It's possible that like we might actually get proper backstory to Ellie aside from Left Behind, like specifically her upbringing. I hope they do. But at the same time, I'm nervous because it's like never been done before. So like, I'm kind of worried that they're going to fuck it up. I hope they don't fuck it up. That first episode was so, so good. And like, it, it, it makes me have high hopes. Okay, hi, Patty. Oh my God. Oh my God. First I saw Audie, now I see you. How many peppies do I have on my, I do not want three peppies. Nope. <laughs> Talked myself out of it right away. Once again, <laughs> nope. Pate and Shino are more than enough for me, bitch. I do not want another one. Huck. I had Huck before and I don't give a fuck about him. I genuinely thought you were Marina and I got excited. Nana, let's get you back to bed. You shouldn't be out here in the wild by yourself. You know what's funny though? She does look a lot like Porter. Why haven't we started the discussion that this might be Porter's grandma? Where the hell is your grandson, by the way? Can we talk about that? And where's Champ? What happened to Champ? Why does Nintendo just like to pretend that Champ never happened? He's literally in the movie. Sky, a wolf. She's normal. I was like, maybe I could take her, but she's normal. No, she's Peppy. No, she's normal. Either way, I don't want her. I don't even want a Peppy villager either. Why was I, like, I was about to take her if I thought she was Peppy. I literally said no more Peppies. Ooh. Cool. Oh my God, there's one ticket left. Ooh. Ooh, who do we think is gonna be on the last ticket? Do we think the last or the newest resident of Willow is gonna be on the last ticket? Or am I gonna autofill? Comment down below your guess right now. And what a perfect island to end on. It's a mountain island. So there's gonna be a dramatic buildup as we see who the final villager is. Who is it? Who is it? Who is that? Who is that? Now, wait a damn minute. Why is this kind of iconic? Barreled. I kind of want to autofill. I said I was going to auto. You know what? Like autofilling is probably going to be more fun anyways. Did the plot autofill? Please tell me it autofilled. Oh, ooh. ooh, it did. Now it could be fun to just like click on it and see who's coming. But honestly, I think it'd be more fun for Isabel to tell me who it is. Like, let's just do it. Time travel to May the 2nd. Have the villager move in. And Isabel is going to tell me who it is in three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> of all the fucking villagers, of all 400 minus the nine that live on my island, Eagly? I mean, go off. Eagly? Ooh, his house is cute. Oh. Never mind. Just for that, he can stay. Honestly, that is a cute house. Okay, Igly can stay. I'm Igly. I just moved here from Draconis. Whose Igly is this? This is someone's Igly. This ain't my- What the fuck? Which one of y'all let go of Igly lately? Whose Igly is this? This is from someone else's island. I for- Oh, it's because of the treasure islands. Oh. Igly's on the island now. And this is how my map looks because he's here. Debating if I want to keep him. 